The critically acclaimed first book from author Arese Ugu's The Smart Money Woman has been adapted to the small screens as a same title television series. The half hour series stars a strong ensemble, including Osas Igodaro, Tony Tones, Ini Dima Okoji, Tope Tedela, Timini Egbusan, and many others. Now, the series is directed by Bumi Ajakaye and co produced by Kemi Lala Akindoju. And the book's author, Arese Ugu, now joins us on the program via video call. Congratulations on this screen adaptation. So tell us, why did you feel the need to have this done? Thank you so much. So I wrote and self-published The Smart Money Woman in 2016, and it opened to such an amazing reception. And I also had the privilege of going on a book tour across Africa to countries like Ghana, South Africa, Tanzania, Uganda, to name a few. But two things struck me. The first was, even if we're very different, there were so many things that were similar about all the women that I met across Africa um, on my book tour. And there were so many similarities when it came to how we dealt with our pain points when it comes to money and our personal finances. And the second thing that struck me was how many women read the book, sent me messages, um, reached out to me every time they saw me to say, oh my God, I said, when I was reading the book, I could totally see it as a movie. And, you know, at first I was skeptical, like, hmm, would there be a market for this? And how would I convert a book into, you know, a movie? You know, I had a conversation with um, a few industry people who gave me, like, guidance. And I decided to turn it into a 13-episode TV series. So you've described the smart money woman as a letter to a modern African woman. Could you help us understand the concept of the modern African woman and also how important is financial liberation for women molding society? So I think the Small Money Woman TV series is most definitely an ode to the modern African woman because it tells a story of five African girls, Zuri, Lara, Tami, Lado, and Adesua, and their personal finance struggles and how money affects love, family, societal pressures, their own aspirations and how they basically tackle these issues and overcome their personal finance um, struggles. I think it was really important for me to tell this story because I think that in Africa we love the rags to riches story. So we love to hear stories of people who go from extreme poverty to extreme wealth and the reality is that most people don't go from extreme poverty to extreme wealth. They probably go from you know, middle class, upper middle class, or poverty to um, upper middle class. And because we're so focused on that rags to riches story, we don't really talk about what happens when you've actually made some money and you get to the middle class. So Zuri, the character that is um, played by Osasi Godaro, um, basically goes through a situation where she's earning a lot of money, but she's also spending a lot of money and she finds herself um, broke and you you follow the 13 episodes seeing how she overcomes um, the struggles that she's faced with and each character basically tells the story of a different pain point so I think that there's something for every woman whether you're an entrepreneur whether you're a housewife whether you um, are an entrepreneur whether you like shopping whether you are dealing with um, financial abuse like the, it covers so many different aspects of financial literacy but in an educational entertaining um, and relatable way well Arese thanks so much for joining us today